This morning, new developments in the murder of Washington Post journalist Jamal Khashoggi, a horrific killing that created international outrage last October. Now, new overnight, Saudi Arabia is announcing it has sentenced five men to death and three to prison over the columnist's killing after months of criticism over how the country has handled the investigation. NBC's Keir Simmons is in our London bureau with the latest. Hey, Hallie, good morning to you. This morning, Saudi Arabia will be looking to send a tough message and hoping that it can move on from the crisis that engulfed the country this year, a crisis that has been described by some as the worst for Saudi Arabia since 9-11. But this announcement does not include punishment for the former advisor to the crown prince, and that will be questioned by many people. This morning, death sentences for the murderers of Washington Post journalist Jamal Khashoggi. The Saudi public prosecutor announcing capital punishment for five individuals for committing and directly participating in the murder of the victim. Another three men were sentenced to a total of 24 years in prison for covering up this crime and violating the law. Khashoggi, a permanent U.S. resident and vocal critic of Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, was murdered and dismembered in October last year in the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. His body parts were never found. His death sparked a global outcry against Saudi Arabia and greater scrutiny of its crackdown on dissidents. Saudi Arabia has said the killing was a rogue operation, but critics of the absolute monarchy and U.S. ally aren't convinced. Earlier this year, the U.N. said the slaying was an extrajudicial execution and called for the investigation of the Crown Prince. NBC News confirmed that a CIA assessment found that Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman ordered the killing of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. The prince has denied any involvement, but in a September TV interview with CBS, said he took full responsibility for the killing. Absolutely not. This was a heinous crime. But I take full responsibility as a leader in Saudi Arabia. Two senior officials implicated in the murder with the closest ties to the Crown Prince were cleared of wrongdoing because of insufficient evidence. One of those officials was a close advisor to Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, Saud al Qatani. He's been sanctioned by the US over the killing, yet the Saudi Attorney General concluded he had no proven involvement. Another question for Saudi Arabia, if they have found the right people guilty, how come they haven't been able to direct people to where the body is? There will be many questions for Saudi Arabia in 2020, despite the hopes of its leadership. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Why don't you subscribe? It's really easy. Just click on that button down there. And for more news from MSNBC, click on any of these videos here for the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more videos from MSNBC with our newsletters. Head over to msnbc.com newsletters to sign up.